Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to Rick's Corner. You know, uh, I try to add up sometimes how much I spend on food because it seems to be my biggest expense. And it's quite a bit, actually. <laughs> but that's my main form of entertainment. I like to eat. I, mean, I like to eat well right. I like to eat well, and I want to make sure I have good food going in me. I'm not big on junk food. I don't order fries and stuff like that. I will get a burger um, because I don't think it's all that bad to have hamburger and cheese and lettuce and tomato. Sure, you get a little bread, so what? But have you ever figured out how much you spend a day, a week, a month, or a year on food and supplements? It could be astronomical. Do all of them work? Do you need them all? Probably not. I remember back in the 70s, we had very, very few supplements. I very limited protein powder, which I've mentioned before, maybe amino acids and liver pills. And I don't think we even had amino acids, I think it was just liver pills. And we all made good gains. We all made uh, the, the, the progress we wanted to just by eating chicken and fish and beef and tuna and uh, it seemed to work well. We ate it several times a day and we didn't prepare it to take with us like they call meal prep. We just would eat, we'd go home and eat and then we'd take off and do what we did. I don't remember taking anything with me. I don't remember too many people taking anything with them. But if you eat a good breakfast, if you have your eggs and your beef patty for breakfast and your oatmeal, that's fine. You go to the gym, you train, you have uh, maybe uh, take a little amino drink with you after. It's always good to have something after you train and then at lunch. Um, today I had four eggs uh, over medium on some wheat toasted butter and cottage cheese. Now, normally I'd get a chicken breast or I'd get a hamburger patty or something, but I don't know, I just had the taste for that and I figured that's a good source of protein. And it worked pretty well. I've been home a couple of hours. I didn't really have anything yet, but I am going to reach for the liquid egg whites because I think that's a good source of protein for me. Um, I had a protein bar. Now, Quest sent me some bars and I like those. I think those are the best protein bars out on the market. And they certainly have good flavor. Now, for dinner, I'll probably go somewhere and have maybe chicken or a steak. I'm not quite sure where around here. I live alone so I go out to eat because it's easier for me to go out than cook at home all the time and be bored sitting home. But think of all the things you're taking. Sure, we've got to have vitamins of some sort. If we don't get the right foods, we have to have some sort of vitamin. So I take vitamin C. I take vitamin um, uh, folic acid, vitamin D3, which my doctors want me to take, um, hyaluronic acid that's good for your skin and nails, I take an amino acid, and then I take some liver pills, and then I have collagen from Old School Labs that sends me collagen, and they send me a protein and some other supplements as well, which out of all the companies I've ever dealt with, they're the ones that have the cleanest, the best products I've ever used. Okay, but aside from that, I mean, it's, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot because you have to have some source of vitamin somewhere in there. It's not a whole lot, but I think if I get real foods, or if you get real foods, you'll be better off throughout the day than to start eating supplements that you don't know much about. Now, there's a lot of proteins out there. I don't know that all of them are good. I don't know which ones are good. Um, a lot of the whey proteins, they have a lot of fillers. They have a lot of stuff when they say 40 grams is probably not 40 grams, it's probably 20. Um, they get away with it for some reason. But I know that the Egg Whites International, that they sent me two and a half gallons of it. I know that eight, um, pumps of that is 26 grams of protein equivalent to 40 grams of whey and it's readily absorbed right away. So I've been trying that for the past couple of weeks and I made some nice progress in the gym with just using that and that's my eggs in the morning too so I don't have to cook any eggs. I just mix it with the collagen and a couple of little powders here and there, maybe a little apple juice. So if you add up what I spend throughout the day, maybe it's uh, oh, with going out and all that, maybe 30 bucks a day. Now the supplements, uh, I get a lot of them comp to me, so I don't figure those in, but I mean, that could add up as well. Um, if you go out on a date, <laughs> and it's an expensive date, you can go up to 160, 100 bucks a night on a Saturday night dinner, that's a lot of money. 
It's a lot of money for a steak that I don't think is worth it. There's other places you can steaks a whole lot cheaper, but you're paying for ambiance, you're paying for the name of the restaurant and to be seen wherever it is. I don't think that's real necessary, but people do it and they get by with it. There's plenty of uh, restaurants around here like Chicken Cafe that has really clean chicken and it comes with fresh fruit and a uh, Caesar salad. I like that place. I think it's really clean for like $12. You can't beat it. Um, but those supplements add up. I mean, if you're taking them all year long, try eliminating some here and there and see if you get the same progress because you might be taking something you don't even need. It's very possible that you don't need it and save yourself some money. Um, like I said, back in the day, we had very few things that we took. We were had his supplements out. I didn't even take them. I didn't trust that they were really what they were cracked up to be, so I didn't take them. I don't know anybody who really did take those. Um, even the guys who got them for free, they might have tried them, but I don't know. I don't think so. I think I had some sort of a milk and egg protein, which was I liked. Milk and egg is good protein. It's a good source. I'd mix it with water. I never mixed anything with milk, uh, just with water at bedtime or maybe midday, and then I'd go to sleep. After my workout, like now, I think it's good to have a post-workout drink. So I will take some amino acids, and then I might take some some sort of sugar substance, the glycogen, to go with it to go back into my muscle because I think that's important. Now, pre-workout drinks are expensive, and I don't know. I know that they open up my capillaries. They feel like niacin when I take them, so I start to tingle all over. We used to just use a cup of coffee back in the day, and that was our pre-workout drink. We'd have it at home and go work out, and it just it did pretty much the same thing. So sit down and figure out what you're spending, see where you can cut corners, because you may not need to spend that much, and you'll probably save yourself a lot of money. Now, guys who get ready for the Olympia, on their diets, when they're eating the meat and all that stuff, man, they're spending a lot of money on good quality stuff because they need to be in top shape. Not to mention all the anabolics that go with it, which could add up to maybe a several eighty, ninety, hundred thousand dollars a year and they won't get that money back unless they win. So that's another thing they're spending it on and the, the return on that is like next to nothing. So I was thinking about this and I wanted to bring it up and I didn't know how you guys, I know a lot of you guys have a hard time with diet and a diet's really the most important thing you can do. But you've got to sit down and analyze what it is. Now, if I don't like to plan like Monday through Friday is what I'm going to have every meal. I like to catch it as the meal comes. If I go out or I make something, then I'll do something I feel I want at that moment. And it'll be a high quality, high protein diet. Because I'd rather do that than think, okay, Thursday I'm going to have a chicken breast and rice. Because then by that, that time I may not want it. I never know on a Monday or Tuesday or Thursday where I want to go on a Saturday if I go out. It'll hit me. <laughs> and then I'll go and I'll enjoy it. Sunday used to be a cheat day for years. And I don't even do that anymore. I don't have any desire to sit and eat a bunch of just a bunch of junk that I don't want. I feel lousy afterwards and it's I don't know, I don't think it does you any good in any I'll just have to burn it off again. So anyway, that's my uh, my thoughts on eating and what you spend on it. And um, if you want to cut back a little bit on your expenses, I think you can cut a few things out that you don't really need. Hope you listen to me and follow what I say and maybe you'll get some good results from it. Okay? Build your bank account. That's what you gotta build. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson. Personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it. And I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding.
Keys the Equalizer, baby. See you next time.